approach with all those grenades and explosions and traps. You know what I'm saying, Vance? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I have a cat here in this apartment now. <laughs> She's running all over my setup. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. It looks like they're uh, currently in talks of stage choice, and we'll see who they go. I guess Uramishi, I mean, like you said earlier, you saw you saw Uramishi pick Snake? Yeah, it looks like they're actually going Snake Kirby for game one. That's going to be interesting to see. Thank you, uh, Strize. He doesn't play Midnight anymore. I told you, man. They're, they're a dying breed. It is they're a dying anymore. breed. Looks like he went Midnight in the bracket. I mean, he might have gone like once or twice for a matchup, but... We don't see that many of them, dude. It's honestly like one of those things, like when the game was initially being released, people were talking about how Meta Knight's going to be like super good. He's broken again, right? And then Twitter Ultimate combos. came out and those Twitter combos were fake hype. Love Twitter combos. And we only have one Meta Knight main out there and that's pretty... I mean, there's Bonk. There's quite. There's actually quite a few of them. I know Bonk is one of them. I know S2H is another one, but they, like I said earlier, they're a dying breed. So yeah, Strides saying in the chat, bottom five character in winner's side. I know, right? But hey, sometimes those matchup and experiences, they go a long way. Let's see what he overcame. Honestly, in, in my opinion, it's not like the strongest argument for this. I don't, I sometimes feel like watching and playing ultimate. I don't really think there is quote unquote a low tier character in this game. I feel like it's more of like, Mid tier, high tier, and top tier, and that's it. Like, some characters have a level of viability that makes me wonder why. But hey, it works. Oh, there's the Meta Knight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he still plays Meta Knight. Because I think he's used it in almost every set today. Yeah, I was going to say, I knew him as the Meta Knight main, but I guess Strides gets to eat his words and stand corrected. And top commentator Strides. It's all right, man. We all make mistakes. But so now good. we get to he's see those, uh, these Kirby characters. Yeah, very, very rare that you get to see characters from the Kirby series. I thought they were doing a button check, but it uh, looks like they're actually playing on the realsies oh, now. Oh man, that's called spacing. They are playing neutral. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I forgot I was playing Wi-Fi for so long, man. I forgot what neutral was like. Anyways, <laughs> gets back up. And I totally understand why you're a for this matchup. Kirby is a floaty, right? One good kick of a dash attack, and Kirby could see himself uh, on the air ride to losing a stock. It's true, but 94% already on Urameshi. Curious to see if uh, Guapo's gonna utilize the tornado. Okay, let's rock one time. The crazy thing about the Kirby abilities too is that even though it's a copied ability, Kirby's version usually does like the more knockback or the more damage of it. Oh, he wanted to get a roll read, but so far, I mean, that like you mentioned earlier, right? Playing that neutral, Guapo's not falling for it. He says if you want to just go for a forward smash in the neutral, that's fine. You can hit the ghost to final destination, and you can play neutral with me. <laughs> yep, yeah, and of course, you know, Guapo, or Yurameshi has double the amount of damage that Guapo has, so... Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, Guapo is getting ready for that five-minute timeout. Oh, yeah. He's telling him, bro, I don't have to make the approach, you have to come to me. Nice. He waited for that. Oh, he waited for the, the spot dodge so he could grab him for it. That was good patience. I mean, that's what we're seeing at Kirby on one side. Okay, what are these Order conversions? Character? Nice. He's going low. Yeah, he he waited. He waited for that situation. Oh, Fortunately, yeah. he could not take on that one. He's too many jumps too, so there's no way he's gonna be able to make it back. Even with yeah. the assistance of the MK Tornado. But here we go, there's a ladder combo. Put 55% mm -hmm. on Guapo. I mean, it's not gonna be a complete shuttle loop where we are usually used to seeing a kill back in Smash 4, <laughs> but 55% is pretty good nonetheless. Especially against Guapo with how patient he's playing. Like you mentioned earlier, it feels like his name of the game here is Neutral. Gets the inhale, gets the ability. I like the fact that he knows where the direction it's gonna send Urameshi, and he tries to go from a conversion off that. Really good play. Yeah, gets a dash grab. Not gonna be able to follow up. 
down throats. That's a little bit too far now. Nice attack, nice. Guapo has nerfed steel. He stood there through all the dash dancing in F Smash. There's there is no reads. He's not rolling into anything. Oh, tornado is gone. The mask. Yep. The mask has been taken away. <laughs> Nice, he waited, he waited, he waited, and that's going to spike up the last hit, still able to come back on the shuttle loop. Both Recurvy and Men and I can make those recoveries for sure. Yeah, jump from ledge, still covering the ledge with down air. Great spacing coming from Urameshi. Nice. Went for a couple empty hops, either mixing up a dash attack or a back air like so. Or an empty hop grab. Nonetheless, Guapo, like you mentioned earlier, right? Playing the neutral. Sticking to some of the greatest fundamentals you can have in a game, honestly. Okay, reversing the inhale. Unfortunately, it's going the wrong direction. Down smash, not going to be enough to take out a light uh, Kirby. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, though, Guapo always well aware of the fact that in any given moment, Urameshi can just dip low and go for that kill on the, on the recovery, but... That's why we're already seeing him use those jumps and sometimes even waiting to see how Yurimishi comes back on the stage. Okay, able to convert off the inhale that time. It's okay. It's really only one hit, but the damage adds up. Yeah. Three straight hits. Okay, dash attack. Just Guapo looking for his opening. Yeah, and he did a really good job of actually just kind of spacing himself a little bit from your mission. Once again, defensive there at the stage. Of course, he's trying to read how you, if your mission is going to be coming out aggressively or defensively from the ledge. And he's got 34%. Dash attack. Your Meshi again getting put out the ledge. Okay, F tilt connects. It's your Meshi's opportunity. Oh, Ooh. he had the air dodge. And at that last wow. second when he tried to make the recovery, all Urameshi had to do was back air. I mean, but that's how we kind of saw Guapo play the way he was playing on the recovery. Because he knows Urameshi just has that one time he gets the back air on neutral or off stage, and that just pretty much is all she wrote. Good stuff. Good stuff to Guapo, though, and really good stuff to Urameshi. He knows Kirby can, can die at any given moment off stage, even though he can recover. Yeah, the back air was so strong from Meta Knight. I'm curious to see if Guapo is going to utilize the uh, the tornado. I mean, we keep seeing him use the inhale and taking the tornado ability. He can use it off stage to challenge the, the aggression from uh, from Urameshi. Yeah, he can. All right. Well, they're they're waiting they're waiting for their next meh situation here. I mean. Good stuff on Guapo to play in neutral. That would seem to do him pretty much a lot of the work. There were situations where I saw that Urameshi went for a few dash attacks and Guapo was well spaced, or he just knew like, okay, wait a minute, if I'm a little bit too aggressive, Urameshi gets what he wants. So I kind of got to slow it down a little bit. We'll see how game two treats Guapo here. Urameshi. Yeah, switching to Snake. Yeah. Staying as Meta Knight. I mean, it's good for him too, because he knows like we saw earlier, it paid off in the last situation there. Back air just killed Kirby. That's true. But like we, like I said earlier, right? It's not just that one back he got last game. It's his ability to actually able to be challenging Kirby off stage and do enough damage. Wow! Oh, there we go. There's some classic moves. There's the Meta Knight we all used to know and fear. Oh, Urameshi taking a page out of that book too, man. You see some patience there, and he waited for the right time to go for that dash attack. Okay, a couple of down tills into a dash attack. Lots of dash attacks coming out from Urameshi. Oh man, he just let it rip. He, know, he knows he knows Guapo is dead if he just gets one of them. Even if he's not dead, that's some massive damage. Uh, that's unfortunate for Guapo. The F smash just whiffed. Moving right around Urameshi's hitbox. He's hunting. He is hunting. Yep, and he got him at that last second. I told you. That's why. That's why we see Guapo playing a little bit so careless. He's not careless, but he's playing as careful as possible. 
because he knows Meta Knight is just one second away from killing Kirby at any given moment. And waiting for that last situation to get the side special was what pretty much cost Bop of the stock. Okay, well, there's another dash attack. Here we go. Another ladder this combo. Could be death. And it is. Wow. Told you, Matt. There's no reason he needed to go Meta Knight. Like he needs, he needs rage to make that yeah, work. He needs rage to make it work at, at times, but even if it doesn't take care of the stock, having that big of a lead or just even getting any kind of lead at that situation is just really good. Um, To mine, I don't know if you can DI that, I don't, I don't know at that situation if you would have, but because Kirby is a lightweight character, I don't think DI would have mattered. He was dead. I'm sure DI plays a factor. You yeah. just have to... 